a plumber earns $325 for eight hours of work. Which of the following is an equivalent rate? And we have four different choices here. One, two, three, and four. A, B, C, and D. So we're going to figure, uh, first of all, what is $325 for eight hours? What rate is that first? So let's do that one first. Take eight and divide it into 325. Okay, so we're taking $325 and we're going to divide it by the eight here. Now my decimal goes straight up here. Well, we'll put it up there in a minute. Let's go ahead and just start with this problem. 32 divided by eight, four times eight, subtract we get zero bring down the five now five can't be divided by eight so we'll say it goes zero times you know you better take care of that decimal right now really I think we should take care of it before we even started the problem but there it is it's straight up there now um, in other words five can't be divided by eight we'll say it goes zero times zero times eight is zero okay we're still gonna get five and we're gonna bring down another zero Okay, now 50 divided by 8, that'll go 6 times. 6 times 8, subtract, bring down a 0, and 2 times 8 is 16, subtract, bring down a 0, and 5 times 8 is 40. So we're, he makes about $40 an hour. $40 and 63 cents, 62 cents, 63 cents, about $40 an hour, okay? Let's take uh, find out if this is going to give me forty dollars an hour. Take two twenty five and divide it by seven point five. We need to move the decimal over one place on both of these. One place on both of these. So your decimal is going to go right up here. Okay, now two hundred twenty five divided by seventy five. Three times seventy five is two twenty five. Subtract, bring down a zero, and this is thirty dollars an hour. Okay, so this is not $40 an hour. Okay, we're going to throw out this answer. Let's try this one. You have 182.81 divided by 4.5. Okay, divided by 4.5. Okay, move the decimal over one place. Scoot it up here. Okay, 45 goes into 180 four times. Four times 45 is 180. Subtract, bring down the 8. It's going to go 0 times. 0 times 45 is 0. Subtract, you're going to get 28. Bring down the 1. Okay. And this is going to go 6 times. 6 times 45 is 270. Subtract, 1, 1, bring down a 0. You're going to go 2 times. 2 times 45 is 90. Subtract, 20. 4 times, 4 times 45, 180. We're going to say this is about $40 an hour. So my answer is going to be B, I think. Okay, it's about $40 an hour. Okay. So let's test out answer C. 291.5 divided by 5.5. Okay, move the decimal over 1. Scoot your decimal straight up there. 55 and the 290, 5 times, 5 times 55, 275, subtract, we're going to get 16 and bring down the 5. And then divide this into this, it's going to go 3 times, 3 times 55 is 165, so this is $53 an hour. This is $53 an hour, so that's not it. So far, B is my best answer. Now I have to test out this answer, though. You're taking 292.5 divided by 6.5. Okay, move the decimal over. Scoot the decimal straight up here. This is going to go 4 times 65 is 260. Subtract, bring down the 5. What's that going to go? 5 times? 5 times uh, 65 is 325. This is $45 an hour. We wanted $40 an hour. Okay? So I'm not getting D. My best answer is B, where we're getting $40 an hour. Okay? So of these four, I'm going to pick B as my answer.